So four years ago, my Jeep broke down and it was gonna cost $1,000 to fix. So I looked on YouTube and found a video that showed how to fix my Jeep for $80 instead of a thousand. The guy who made that video four years ago is right here. <laughs> Brian, what are we doing today? Uh, today we're gonna sign a cell phone in a turkey the size of a human head, airborne, using the airbag out of a, a Mazda and a Honda. All right, let's get started. All right, Brian, so we're blowing up airbags. How does this work? So the airbag's really simple. It's an explosive charge. It explodes into a bag and just rips through the front cover. You have two wires that you're dealing with. You can see I've got some special terminals for probing or testing, but you have a red wire and a white wire, a positive and a ground. And uh, basically there's an igniter behind this that'll set off a charge. So I'm gonna take my orange wire, put it in with the red, and then the black wire into the white. And then we're gonna set the cell phone on it. And then I've got some speaker cable to keep us a safe distance from the trucks. I don't wanna lose my truck doing this, but I do wanna entertain some folks. Maybe we'll lose a phone and a turkey, that's acceptable. So this is the cell phone that we're gonna use. This is an iPhone 6. It's actually locked and the screen is cracked, so it's not worth very much. We're gonna plant it on top of the airbag. All right, so Brian, we got the airbag right here, and it looks like this is just what's coming out from inside of the steering wheel. So, you know, the steering wheel goes around the airbag. Uh -huh. So how does the airbag work? In a car, it's a lot more complicated. You have the airbag computer, you have sensors, and there's a lot of if this, then this kind of type of programming on the computer so that your airbag doesn't deploy and cost your insurance company a bunch of money if you're going five miles an hour in the parking lot or something like that. An airbag like this new from the Honda would probably be like 500 bucks or something like that. You can get them from the wrecking yard for about 100 bucks, 50 bucks. You know, so there's there's a lot of options where you can repair the car. So how many sensors are there on a car usually, like inside of the bumper or on the sides? Uh, most cars will have sensors in the front bumper, at least one if not two. Like a Chevy pickup truck or something will have a couple up front if it's in the late 90s. But it just depends on the car. Uh, German cars, they'll have sensors all over the place and airbags all over the place. Uh, my truck that you see over there, it's got airbags in the side curtains and the front, you know, both sides, and it's got all kinds of sensors and wiring, like uh, explosive charges on board of that. If you're counting airbags, there's at least uh, six of them, I believe. So <laughs> all right. it's a lot of explosives on board that you don't really think about. Well, let's see how far this baby flies. And we have these wires right here leading up inside of the truck and Spencer what's going on right here so it's not live right now but we have it hooked up to the battery and once I touch this wire right here just like that it'll shoot off the airbag three two one oh boy How high do you think that got, Brian? I'd say 30 feet. 30 feet? I was expecting more. So the airbag started off right here next to the sandbag and it jumped actually all the way over here. So this is what an airbag looks like after it's deployed. It looks like we got some smoke coming out of it. Nice. Some of that will be talc powder. What's the talc powder for inside of it? Like if you want something to deploy smoothly and not snag on itself, you do the talc powder. If you want a book page to open to a certain page, you can talc powder the pages. And anytime you open the book, it'll just automatically, because it, you know, there's not the friction there with the powder. Sure. This looks like the center of the steering wheel just opened up right along that crease. It just blew out that center seam. And then this bag feels like nylon. Feels kind of like a canvas tarp. <laughs> so the airbag's here, and the phone, it's about 30 feet in this direction. Oh no, got some more damage to the screen. Good thing I know a guy who can fix phone screens. So we lost a lot of energy during the last explosion because the airbag actually hopped up off the ground. So we're gonna take some wire this time around and strap the airbag to the sandbag 
so that it won't lose as much energy and all of the energy will be transferred to the phone launching it up into the air. The phone is still working. I mean it was a little bit broken before. Oh look dude the phone is bent. Like it's bent. Um, From the compression. Yeah from look pushing at that. The back. I kind of thought that happened. iPhone 6 bin gate <laughs> from an airbag. Okay. Sweet. Three, two, one. That's better. And it hit. <laughs> I was in the air for a while. Securing it makes a difference. It's the whole F equals M, or force equals mass times acceleration, F equals MA. <laughs> Tight. Well, look, this, this airbag's a different color. That's kind of fun. So it looks like even though we attached wires to the airbag, it still exploded and separated itself from the sandbags. So we lost a little bit of the power, but we had, what, three and a half seconds of hang time on that one? Yeah, this is a significant difference. So that's incredible. Like, think about that much power hitting you in the face during a wreck. But secured like, to a you know four thousand pound car. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's better than your face hitting the dashboard. But you know it's like a it's a it's not a marshmallow either though. Airbags have to hurt. There's a lot of force there. There is venting so that when your face hits it, it actually cushions it, and the it, the travel after impact makes a big difference. That's why they uh, do the life saving job that they do. Where we started from, way over there, landed right here. Looks like there's a few more cracks on the screen and we have a little impact crater here even. Looks like, yeah, the ribbon just ripped right off of that. You can see where it hit the corner here. I wonder if it still worked. Uh, we've got some green lines on the screen. Looks like the LCD's cracked this time around. Which, you know, it's a little bit to be expected. Either way, a new replacement screen in this phone will be as good as new. That's not too bad when you consider that it was impacted to get it up into the air pretty hard. That's where the bending came from and then hitting the ground too. That's respectable. Yeah, the inertia lifting yeah. off of the airbag. So big thanks to Brian. Without him, my YouTube channel wouldn't exist. When I messaged him about my Jeep breaking down four years ago and asked him why in the world he makes YouTube videos, he said it was to decrease world suck. And because you can make a little bit of money on YouTube. So I started doing the same thing with cell phones, and that's how my channel came to be. We have a turkey, and what are we doing with this turkey? This isn't just any turkey. This is a butterball turkey that's the same <laughs> size and weight as a human head. Oh boy. Air, airbags come in contact with people's heads all the time. That's what they're supposed to do. But what if your head was right against the airbag when it went off? What kind of forces are we dealing with? So we've got a 1996 Mazda Millennia side, side impact airbag that we're gonna launch this turkey with. So if you want to see what happens to this turkey using an even bigger airbag than what we are using on this cell phone, click this video right here and show Brian some love on his channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.